All right, so now we're going to draw the structure for, for this silicon and bromine compound. Just like before, step one is to draw out each individual atom involved, and it's a Lewis dot structure. Silicon's in group four, so it has four valence electrons, four little singles like this. Bromine's in group seven, so it's going to get seven electrons. And I have four bromines, so I'm going to draw it out four times. And each one gets seven electrons. That's three pairs and a single. It doesn't really matter which side you put the pairs and the single on, as long as you have seven, and it's three pairs and a single for each bromine. So your dots, you can draw them wherever you want. All right. Now to figure out the shape, I look for the one that has the most bonding sites. Silicon has four bonding sites, so I'm going to put it in the middle. The bonding site is one single electron. It's a place where it could share. Each bromine only has one single electron. It's only one bonding site for bromine. But that does mean that I can put a bromine right here to share its single electron as part of a shared pair or a covalent bond. Same thing's true about a bromine on this side. It's seven electrons sharing its single pair bromine here sharing its single pair. One here sharing its seven electrons. Right here. And that gives me four bonds connected to the silicon. And that's alright, but it's not a very neat drawing with all the circles and all that. So I'm going to draw the silicon and use straight lines to represent the four bonds connected to it. Bromine. You notice I'm still putting the extra pairs of electrons on bromine. They are a part of it. Those electrons are still there. And those pairs of electrons will play an important role how this, in how this whole molecule responds to other molecules nearby. So we can't just leave them off. We get that much neater structure out of it once we get rid of the little drawn loops. To name this, because it's a covalent compound, we're going to use its prefixes and the number of atoms present. So there's one silicon, so silicon, and then four bromines. So four gets the prefix tetra bromide. You notice this structure is a lot like the structure of CH4 that we drew earlier. We call this structure tetrahedral. There are four bonds, and it makes a cool little triangular pyramid shape uh, if we were to put the silicon at the center. There we go. Silicon tetrabromide.